everybody, Elizabeth here with Country Peony. I'm so excited you joined me today. Um, so before we get started, I wanted to introduce myself. My name's Elizabeth and I am with the DIY and craft blog called Country Peony, which is a craft blog that focuses on simple and inexpensive projects to inspire anyone and everyone to create. So today I'm so excited to have you here and join me on Miss Mustard Seeds milk paint Facebook page. We are making these adorable bats um, out of cardboard and Miss Mustard Seeds milk paint. So, so simple. And so to get started, today we're gonna to be using tricycle Miss Mustard Seeds milk paint in, I'm sorry, typewriter, not tricycle. Tricycle is red, this is black. And then we're also gonna be using farmhouse white to add some fun dimension to these bats. So before we get started, I wanted to give a little backstory. Um, I was born on Halloween, but I'm not a really big um, Halloween crafter or Halloween decor. I prefer my pretty fall pumpkins. And so this project was perfect because it's super cute and it's super simple and I could get my children involved as well. So as I'm painting today, I would love for you to tell me where you're coming from and um, we can craft together. So we're first off going to get started. We're going to mix the milk paint. So if you've never mixed milk paint before, don't worry. It is so, so simple. So we're going to take just an empty glass. I prefer to use glass and you can just clean it out as you go. And when I'm working on crafting projects, I like to use tablespoons and measurements. So when you're working on furniture pieces, you're normally working in increments of cups or half cups. But for my crafting projects, I like to use tablespoons, which then the paint goes, it goes really a long way with your crafting projects. So we're just gonna do one to one for the bats. And we are going to do one tablespoon of milk paint and one tablespoon of water. Okay. And then we're just gonna mix. I like to use a, um, just a simple mixer, but they also have electric ones that work really well on projects like this, but just make sure you don't use any food um, after that, that you dedicate it to this whisk. Okay, so this mixes up so incredibly easy, and I'm gonna set that to the side so it can settle a little bit. Now we're gonna make the bats. So I created my own templates for this. I have a larger bat and then a smaller bat. Um, the, this entire tutorial, um, if you miss any of this, don't worry. It's going to be on Miss Mustard Seed's Milk Paint blog um, next week. So look for that and I will include these templates in there so you can make your own. So for this project, for the base of it, all you're going to need is your template and some recycled cardboard. I love upcycling. I love a simple project that doesn't require a whole lot of tools. Okay. So you're just going to take your template. We're going to be making a small bat today. And you're just going to trace it onto your cardboard. Easy, easy. And again, I mentioned this is something that you can get your kids involved with. These bats are all the rage. And this is really as scary as I will go for Halloween. Um, you tell me if uh, you feel the same way. Okay. So I just traced it, as you can see here, um, very simple. And then what I recommend, the easiest way to cut these bats is by using um, a craft knife, very sharp, making sure that you have a protective um, layer down on your surface. And we're just gonna cut that bat out, um, making sure to go over the lines a couple of times because I have found that it doesn't normally cut all the way through at once. Um, use the same method if you're doing it with foam core um, or whatever. You can also use some scissors if that's easier for you. Okay, so you would cut out that entire bat and then this is the end result. Um, so it's so simple. So you start off with your template and then you um, draw it onto cardboard and then you end with this super cute bat. Okay, 
So here is a fun trick to give this back some movement. You're gonna take, this is a bone, um, paper bone, um, and so what it does is it allows you to bend your bat um, really evenly. Let me move some of this aside so I can show you. But basically, it's, you take your bat and then you bend one wing and then you take the other wing and bend it. So then that gives your fun little bat some movement, okay? And so now we're gonna paint the bat with Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint in Typewriter. Typewriter is this gorgeous black. It's very, um, it works so well on cardboard because you really only need one coat and you'll see as you're applying it, it goes on so well and adds the most beautiful richness and texture to your cardboard. Um, okay, so when I'm working on my crafting projects, again, I use a little bit of milk paint and I also just use a crafting paint brush. So this whole project is very inexpensive. Okay, and so you're just gonna apply one coat of the typewriter onto the bat. You see how well that goes on there? It's so, so easy. Like I said, you only need one coat. And then making sure that you get your sides and even the back of the bat. So that when you flap up the wings and you give it some fun movement, you're not seeing this um, recycled cardboard. Okay. So, I just wanted to show you one wing to show you how incredibly simple this project is to make. Okay, and then look at that coverage. Isn't that incredible? And then when it dries, it's got this gorgeous matte finish that's perfect for the bat. Okay, and I will mention again, all the details are gonna be on Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint on their blog, step-by-step um, -step tutorial with the template for your own bats. Okay, so now that we've got the bat painted, um, you could keep it like this, but I thought it'd be really fun to add some dimension to the bat. So let me pull off one of my fun little bats and I will show you. So I added some dimension where the wings naturally um, attach and um, I think this is really fun, but it's completely up to you. Okay. So I will show you how I added this dimension. You're going to take another craft paint brush, and this time you want the bristles to be a little bit round and nubby, and you're gonna mix farmhouse. So for this project, I want it to do one part milk paint to um, half a water. So or two to one, so two parts milk paint to one part water. You want a little bit thicker consistency because um, you're gonna dab it on and you kinda want a thickness on there. Okay, so I already mixed my farmhouse white and what I wanna show you now is how I applied the fun texture on your bat, okay? So we're gonna take this paintbrush and we're just gonna dip it in your paint and now here's the trick so that it doesn't get too globby or too full. You're gonna take a towel, a paper towel or a regular towel, and you're just gonna dab it onto there to get some of that paint off. Now that might seem counterintuitive, but you'll see what I'm talking about here. So now we're just gonna dab. I like to start in the middle and we're just gonna dab little dots onto the bat. Okay, if you had that paintbrush fully immersed in there, it would, it would just, it would have too much coverage. You don't want all that. So what I like to do is I like to cover the bat's ears a little bit and cover the body, okay? And then this is fun to add some fun texture. I like to take the edge of the wing and just kind of add that paint all the way around the edge of it, okay? You're gonna do that to both sides and see this paint goes a really long way. If you need to reapply, do so, but make sure that you dab it off first, okay? It's just a little bit, um, not to overdo it, just to kind of give it some dimension and shadow so it's not so flat against your wall. And you're gonna cover the entire bat like that. Okay, now we're gonna add the fun wing lines. You're just gonna do from the top 
and you're just going to drag it down in a nice, nice brush light stroke, just like that. You see? Okay, and then we're gonna do that to the other side. Perfect, okay. And so now you've got this bat. Um, this is a little bit too gloppy for me or too speckled, so I'm gonna smooth it out. I'm just gonna run my brush over it, just make a big old mess, as you can see. It's so, so much fun. I guarantee you're gonna make so many of these. And the beauty is you just store them um, for next year and then you put them out each year. It is such a fun, fun project. So that is all. That is so, so simple. I told you it would be really easy. It's super inexpensive because you can use leftover Miss Mustard Seeds milk paint and you can also use recycled cardboard. So it's a win-win. And then you've got this really charming display for Halloween. Um, and now, one more tip that I wanna tell you, my secret to applying them to the wall. So this is called gaffer tape, and I will also link this in my blog post. But this is how I attach all of my temporary decor. Um, it is very sturdy, very thick, and it adheres very well to the wall, but it does not remove paint. Um, I used to use this when I was doing events. I was used to be an event coordinator before I was a craft and DIY blogger, and this was the only tape we allowed in the venue that I worked at because it, it doesn't um, mess up the wall. Okay, so you're just going to fold the tape over, and then you're just going to attach it to your wall and call it a day. So I'm also going to attach the one that we did today to show you, but I thought it'd be fun to do two different sizes because um, as you can see, the different dimension is really fun. And I liked putting it around a black wreath so that it kind of flew up um, and there was some fun movement there. And then if you want to play with their wings a bit, you can. It's completely up to you. So thank you so much um, for, for following today. Please visit Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint um, on their blog next week where this entire tutorial will be. Thank you so much, guys. My name is Elizabeth with Country Peony, and I really enjoyed having you today. Thank you.